Welcome to the Amazon Web Services Imagine Grant Program. We're really excited that you're interested in applying for one of our grants. At AWS, we believe that technology is one of the pillars that helps nonprofits accomplish their missions. In fact, we have a team that is dedicated to supporting nonprofits. And the mission of that team? Make sure that no nonprofit ever fails for lack of technology infrastructure. We created the Imagine Grant to help nonprofits think big about technology. We want to hear about a project that you're excited about that leverages technology in new and creative ways. The Imagine Grant combines some of the greatest assets we have at Amazon, our people, our web services, and our culture. It also provides financial support to address funding challenges that we know all nonprofits face. As part of the grant application process, we'll share with you one of the mechanisms that we use to drive innovation inside of Amazon, our six-page narrative. Our team is here to work with you throughout your proposal development and serve as advisors on your cloud journey. We put together the following information about our six-page narrative writing process to help you get started. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing your submissions. Thank you. So you guys may be wondering, why are we requiring an Amazon six pager for the proposal for the Imagine Grant Challenge? It's a great question. The Amazon six pager and narrative is key to our innovation and decision-making process at Amazon. It forces clarity of thought, and it will help you create a well-defined document that can live on well beyond the grant challenge and proposal process. These documents are driven by data and force key critical decision making. And so the hope is that even if you aren't a winner of the challenge, that you can take this document and this project and bring it to your board, bring it to other funders, and hopefully drive buy-in so that this project can live on and scale beyond this moment in time. How do you get started? First, we always at Amazon want to start with the problem and work backwards from there. Who are you trying to serve and what impact are you trying to have? And from there, think about what would the headline read? Why does this project matter and who is it going to support? And from there, we'd like you to write a press release, no more than a page to half a page. And what you need to be thinking about is, what's the impact it's gonna have on the organization? How is it gonna support the causes and people you care about? And how is it gonna make a measurable difference in how you do your work? And once you've got that press release, it might expose gaps in your thinking or provide you an opportunity to think even bigger about the project you're proposing. What's gonna make a good six-pager proposal? First, we ask that you request the proposal instructions as it provides tips and guidelines on how to write your proposal and how to think about your, putting your project into a six-pager. The next thing is that it needs to be six pages. It's a six-pager for a reason. It's forcing you to condense your ideas into a way that tells a narrative that's focused and pointed and based on data. Data is really important in this narrative, and I can't stress that enough. In the main narrative itself, Roll up key critical data that helps tell your story and explain why this project right now. From there, you can have an appendices. The appendices is there for reference and should not be needed to be able to make your case of why this project is important. The appendices should be used for any kind of supporting data that you need to be able to be referenced for anybody reading the document to tell a deeper story. However, it shouldn't be critical to be able to support your narrative in the main document. Think of it like this. Could your narrative stand alone without the data in the appendices? If the answer is no, then the critical data in the appendices should be moved up to the narrative. In the reverse, if there's data in the narrative that you feel is taking away from the project and causing additional questions to be asked that aren't directly related to what you're proposing, then that's the data that should move down into the appendices. So how do you know when you're done? And it's a really important question because a key part of writing these proposals is iteration, and you want to involve a number of stakeholders in that process. The really important part though, when you know that you're close to being done, is when you're ready for the table read. What the table read is, is you gather diverse stakeholders from across the organization, and in fact, ideally ones that might not even be associated with this project. You bring them into the room, you haven't shared the document with them beforehand, and you sit down and allow them to each read the document for 25 to 30 minutes. Once the read is complete, you will go around the room and ask them to provide you insight, feedback, and allow them to ask questions of you and your proposal and the document. Once you have the read and you've been able to address all of the questions and concerns they may have, then you're done and you're ready to submit it to us. So please feel free to reach out to us with any questions you may have about the six pager narratives process or even if you have questions about how AWS services can be integrated into your project. We're here to help and can answer any question you may have. Thanks and we look forward to reading your proposals.